I want you to just touch your breast. Just go ahead and just squeeze your breast a little bit. Just get to know it, you know. Press down to it. You know, you'll see it's, it's a little bit slimy. It's not very tender. But everybody likes tender breasts, right? I want to show you guys how to properly cook your chicken breast. And the thing about cooking chicken breast is that usually you have to rely on times and specific temperatures. You know, a cook to 165, but that means you have to have a thermometer. But honestly, I've learned that if you learn how to feel your breast, just give it a touch, give it a little squeeze, You'll learn how to cook just by the feel of things, which is really, really valuable. You could be out building a huge fire in the woods. You don't have your thermometer, you know, it's apocalypse, who knows, there's no ovens left, whatever. You'll learn how to cook chicken perfectly just by feeling it. It's okay if you screw up. Nobody's there judging you. Even if they are, if someone's judging you, you know, walk up to them, kick them in the nuts, and then keep cooking. Who cares, you're cooking, you're trying, that's beautiful. Take the breast, right? And just put it in some tin foil like so. And then what I like to do is, I mean, you can just put it in the oven like this, but there's a chance of stuff getting out. So, buy chicken, wrap it like a present, you know, however you want, fold it over. There are different ways to do this that are, you know, correct and this and that. If you really want to get, you know, nuts, just throw some butter in there. All right, you know what? I might as well. I open up my palace, I put a little bit of butter in, and now I'm gonna bake this thing in the oven at 350. Now I just bought this oven, so I don't know much about it, and this is a good experiment because all ovens cook differently. You know, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter how it cooks, it matters how it feels. What I like to do is put the chicken in right when I turn it on. It actually slowly brings the temperature up a little bit. Zip! My chicken is in here baking. It's gonna take probably around 15 or 20 minutes, it could be 10. But again, we're here to feel the breast. Now one thing about chicken that's interesting is if it is cooked a little bit under, you'll know. If it's cooked over, you know, there's nothing you can do about it, but it's always better to just get it a little bit under and start checking for it. Because as it starts to go over, it'll start to get more and more dry. So you want to catch it before it gets cooked over. This chicken's been at 350 for about 12 minutes, and it does not matter how long, but it only matters how it feels. Now, even looking right now, this thing is not done. It needs more time, so I'm gonna pop it back in. Chicken's been in for 20 minutes or so, and I'm just feeling it now. And if you think back to when you first felt that chicken, it was really soft inside, and you could feel the rawness to it. But now when you feel it, I can feel it's completely cooked. If I push on the thickest parts, I'm not getting any, like, give. I mean, I'm sort of trying to imagine what the middle's like. You just want it to be firm. If it feels a little bit mushy still, especially towards the center, the thickest part, it's not ready. But if it feels firm, you're good. You obviously, if you overcook it, it will be firm too, but you'll see it'll be very, very firm. One thing about this chicken right now is it's not the most appealing looking chicken. I mean, you could serve this and that would be fine, but to be totally honest, it's just a little bit, you know, white. So at this point, what you could do is just heat up a pan and just really quickly sear both or one side. Just quick enough so it doesn't really cook it anymore, but just gives it a brownness. What I like to do is use this bastard. Flame it up. Be careful not to just destroy your house. This thing is not expensive. $50 for the top. This is like a super high intensity one. But you can get them for cheaper Home Depot. This thing is incredible. If you wanna get like grilled char inside. It's creme brulee, but also you can just hit meats with it. You can sear meat straight with this thing. Cook wherever you want, cook in your car. Maybe not your car, but well, you could. I just hit this with a flame to finish it off, but you can sear it in a pan. Oil, high heat, super high heat, just really quick. That would be totally fine. And check that out. Look how moist that is. You kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Sometimes you'll see that really stringy, dry chicken. This stuff is so fucking moist. And that was all obtained by just giving a little bit of feel every once in a while. Kept all the juices in so I can just like literally take this aluminum foil if I want and just like sprinkle it's like a waterfall of glory heaven juices. This chicken is glistening.
When do you see chicken glistening? Lettuce wrap it with some avocado. Great snack, great lunch. A little hot sauce if you want. Just to take a taste. Jeez, this is like just the juiciest thing I've ever seen. The beauty of the oven is that if you're cooking it at 350, it's not too hot, it won't dry it out as long as you're testing it. And like I said, if it overcooks, whatever, try it again. If it's undercooked, cook it a little bit longer. You'll cut into it if it looks a little bit pink inside. You know, it's a little undercooked. They always say you want the juices to, to run clear. Um, also, the chicken just changes color completely. That's usually a good way, good sign. But when you're getting connected to the food and you're learning about touch, and not just looking at someone's recipe, oh, bake chicken breast that's one pound for eight minutes. It's like, okay, maybe for them, that specific chicken breast they had, who knows what kind of marinade they had it in, who knows what kind of oven it was. Maybe their oven cooks faster and stays hot. Maybe yours is losing temperature. These little mini ovens, they get the temperature really quick. There's so many factors. That's why if you rely on the touch, you will have tender, supple breast every time.